hello guys welcome back to this channel hope everyone is fine so on that note let's start this video so before getting into that i want to tell you that i'm going to prepare the practice mcqs final exam practice mcqs regarding english language for competitive exam scores so nearly 100 to 150 practice mcqs i'm going to give you guys so it is completely based on nptel syllabus and no outside questions are given so specially designed for nptel students so many people who are watching this video are the students right so and it may be your semester subject also so keeping in view i'm going to give as a student offer for just 89 rupees only guys that means uh, nearly i mean two to three parts of video may be done according to the content so in order to access that so first go to our channel page so it is our channel page or it, you can click the link I have given the description so you can click on that link or you can directly go to our channel S Kumar Edu then beside the subscribe button there is join button so click on that then piece of packs available 89 per month or 119 per month if you mean if I upload any live videos you can get access only through 119 pack and if you want only recorded videos you can choose 89 per month pack and click on join and make payment that's it you will become member of our channel and the benefit of 119 pack is you can get benefits of both other two packs within this pack so that is specialty of 119 pack along with this live video access so that's it guys you can choose the pack based on your comfort so guys i have already uploaded mean many videos for as a preparation mcqs already many people have joined and still joining so I have, you can see that i have already uploaded many exam preparation videos so python or data mining soft skill development database management systems so like this i have uploaded many videos so in similar way i'll upload this course also so you can get just for 89 rupees only guys and the other thing is that with j just this 89 rupees you can not only get this single course but also you can get all the videos that i upload with that just 89 per month pack so not only single course that 89 rupees is for all the courses combinedly you can get for 89 so don't miss this opportunity guys no one is preparing these practice mcqs in youtube especially for N nptl completely based on nptl syllabus no especially designed for nptl students only no outside syllabus completely concepts of nptl is given so nearly 100 to 150 practice mcqs just for 89 rupees only guys you can get nowhere for this cheap price so please if it is your semester subject then please try to join your friends also so that if you join in bulk bulk group i will get better motivation and encouragement to do the better videos from next parts of the videos so hope you do that and use this opportunity if you have any doubts regarding this you can ask me in the comment section so now let's go to the solutions So this is week 8 assignment of English language for competitive exams course. So now let's see the first question. Geminis, Leos and Sagittarians tend to be progressive, guerrillas and enjoy the finer things in life. What does this mean? So guys actually the meaning of garrulous. Garrulous means talking extensively that means chatty. So in that meaning, I think third option could be the probable one, guys. Geminis, Leos and Sagittarians are progressive, chatty and enjoy the finer things in life. So I think this may be the probable solution. If you have any other suggestion, you can give me in comment section. And I, if I get any update regarding the change of solution, I will definitely mention in the comment section. So before the final submission, once again, check the comment section for any updates available or not. So now let's see the second question. So second one, which of the following is the correct usage of the word? So what is that word means? Cacophony. So in every sentence there is word called cacophony, right? So what is this mean of cacophony? It means it is a harsh music that is unable to hear. That means very harsh uh, music. So which wording which word is correct? The first sentence, the cacophony of children's band was unbearable for ad adults. That means unbearable, it is very harsh, right? 
So I think first option is the correct answer for second question. So you can see Beethoven's symphonies are best known for their cacophony. Cacophony means harsh music. How they can become a uh, best known for their harsh music, right? So it may not be answer, not be the answer. And next one, the parents stood around the ch children's band to admire the cacophony of music. No, I think no one in this world will admire the harsh music. So it is also not correct. And last option, the collected August Jane Austen's works and other classics are part of cacophony. So no, I think no one in this, I mean nothing in this world called classics is part of the harsh music. So it will not be called classic if it is a harsh music, right? So I think option A is the probable uh, usage of the word cacophony. Next question. Abdurate is related to obedient. Then how venerate is uh, related? So for third question, the probable answer could be accuse because these two are the opposite words, right? Obedient and obdurate. So actually venerate means to mean to give respect to honor. That opposite is accu accuse, right? Accuse, right? Because accusing means uh, it's opposite to respect, right? Irritation, I think it is different. So I think option A is the probable solution for third question. So let's move on to the fourth one now. Choose the meaning of the word anarchy. What is anarchy? Anarchy means there will be no particular law, etc. No rules and no laws. So in that meaning, third option, a situation where no one obeys rules or laws. So it may be the probable solution for fourth question. So now let's move on to the fifth question. So fifth one, ostentatious refers to, so what does it mean by ostentatious? So for fifth question, the correct answer is option one, a person who behaves in a way so as to impress other people, impressing upon them how rich they are. So I think the probable answer is first option. Next one. Sixth one, choose the incorrect pairing. So for sixth question, actually voracious means greedy, voluptuous means curvy and paradigm means is a type of example. But aplomb is, means assuring, but it is not trusting, right? So I think fourth option is the probable answer for sixth question. So now let's move on to the seventh question. Choose the correct, choose the incorrect pairing. So for seventh question, apocryphal means not mean uh, rumors like that, no, uh, fake news. Fictitious also similar to that, so it is not the answer. Anomaly and exception are used together. It is also not the answer. I think trepidation and anxiety is same word, but ferocious and sophisticated. These two are not. A correct pair I think so first option could be the probable answer for seventh question so now let's move on to the eighth one guys choose the incorrect pairing so for eighth question if you see conspicuous it is similar meaning to visible ravishing is also similar meaning to be, uh, beautiful dire is also similar meaning to dreadful but tactile means unable to communicate properly but instead of that talkative means very or talkative and he can he can communicate right he is chatty or verbose you can tell that i think these two are opposite words so third one is the correct answer so third one is the probable solution for eighth question moving on to the ninth one which of the following is most closely related to mellifluous mellifluous so for ninth question, the correct answer could be option B, pleasing sound to hear. The correct answer is pleasing sound to hear.
Now let's move on to the final question of the assignment that is 10th question. Forming an alliance with the communists was anathema to the Reagan administration. What does this mean actually? So first of all the meaning of anathema means dislike to take a deci particular decision. So in the given options I think if you see the fourth option, they were ideologically opposed to striking a deal with the communists. So opposed, it means they dislike. So I think fourth option, the Reagan administration was ideologically opposed to striking a deal with communists. I think fourth option could be the probable solution for tenth question. So guys, that these are the solutions for week eight assignment solution or uh, week eight regarding the English language for competitive exams course. So hope this video helpful for you. If you feel the same, please subscribe our channel, like this video and share this to your friends also guys. So as, as I already said, you can get 100 to 150 practice and secures completely based on NPTEL syllabus, specially designed for the NPTEL students itself. So for just 89 rupees you can get guys. So hope you use this opportunity to the great extent. No one is providing this mcqs in the youtube so especially for nptl no one is preparing i think so only our channel is preparing for just 89 rupees only guys there is lot of hard work involved in that but we are giving as a student offer many people are students right so we are giving for just 89 rupees so hurry up guys hope you join in this and make others other classmates also join in this Share this link in your WhatsApp groups, Telegram groups, etc. So make everyone join in this so that I can get better encouragement to do the next part of the videos with better content. So that's it guys. If you have any doubts, please ask me in the comment section. Don't hesitate. So already many people have joined. These are the top 8 people. So hope you will be in this list. So that's it for this video guys. So keep supporting us like this. So until the next video, goodbye, thank you.